A guy named Costa is going to visit his friend Thomas for his birthday, with a guy named Dax who is filming everything. Costa goes into the bathroom and plays a prank on Tomas. Thomas's dad tells Thomas not to invite too many people to the house and gives him instructions on what not to do, since his parents will be away for the weekend. Tomas' parents give him his mom's minivan as a gift and then leave to celebrate their anniversary. Yeah. It's on, motherfuckers. The three friends go to school and meet their friend JB. And so it begins. Welcome to Random Recaps. In this video, I am going to recap the movie. This is Project X. Yo. Kids at school make fun of Thomas for the minivan. That's a sweet minivan, soccer mom. Thomas isn't sure about having such a big party, but Costa doesn't care and wants to throw the best party. Costa sends a message to everyone inviting them to Thomas's party, and then they record Costa going to the bathroom and throw trash at him. Then Thomas talks to his best friend Kirby. She tells him she'll get him a gift for his birthday. Then Costa goes around the school inviting everyone to the party, but no one knows who Thomas is. Who's that? Who's Thomas? Poor, ugly thing you... But people still say they'll go. Yeah, then we're gonna help you bring two people. Then the friends go to buy things for the party. Extra large candles. And Costa gives alcohol to a baby. And are you crazy? Then when paying, they run into Miles Teller, a popular college student, and Tomas invites him to his party. And Miles says he'll be at a party, but it turns out it's the same party as Thomas. I'm, that's yeah. where I'm going. I'm yeah, dude, going crazy, bro. And he offers to bring more alcohol. After that, Costa takes the others to buy drugs from a guy named T-Rick. Costa steals the gnome from the guy, and as they leave, the guy realizes it and starts chasing them. Give me back my gnome. The friends run away from him, but the guy catches up to them, demanding the gnome back. Costa hires some kids for security. Costa and JB go to the neighbors to tell them that there will be a party and that there may be some noise if it bothers them. And Costa brought an inflatable castle and JB exercises and falls. <laughs> After that, the friends make a toast and then they start playing Mortal Kombat. Tomas is worried because no one is showing up. But suddenly, everyone starts arriving. The party starts, everyone starts drinking, jumping, smoking, and dancing. And they tie Thomas' dog to some balloons and send it up. Thomas gets mad and goes to get it and leaves it inside the house. For my love. Later, people start going inside the house and Thomas gets angry. He wants to kick everyone out, but Miles shows up and brings more people. Come on, guys, let's start making some drinks, bro. The neighbor comes over angry and tells Thomas to end the party. The neighbor threatens to call the cops, but one of the security kids electrocutes the neighbor. And the neighbor hits the kid. And Costa threatens to call the cops on the neighbor for hitting the kid. Punch your kid in the face, I'm calling the cops on your ass now. Dude. The neighbor leaves. And then Costa tells the kid to watch the neighbor in case he calls the cops. After that, people start jumping into the pool. And Eddie tries to drink beer but ends up drowning. And then he starts sniffing a dildo. What? Stop it. Get some help. Later, Thomas goes to drink tequila with Alexis, a popular girl from school. His dad calls him on the phone. Scolding him for not answering earlier. After that, the kid calls Costa saying he went into the neighbor's house. Hey, get the fuck out now. Meanwhile, Thomas and Kirby go talk in a room and Thomas kisses her. After that, the kid tells everyone to go to the backyard because the neighbor called the cops. The cops arrive at Thomas's house and everyone is quiet in the backyard. The cops want to go inside but Costa doesn't let them since the law says they can't enter private property without permission. The cops just ask them to be quieter and leave. Everybody's a fucking attorney. So the party continues. <laughs> More dancing, more drinking, karaoke, and the pool. And suddenly they break a window. People start playing with the stolen gnome, and when they break it, it has a bunch of ecstasy inside. <laughs> Thomas gets mad because there are too many people making a mess and finds out Costa posted the address on the internet and radio. Costa and JB try to calm Tomas down and Costa gives him some ecstasy. After that, they sing happy birthday to Thomas. Then some guys grab someone and put him in the oven. 
Costa and JB go help the guy and when they come out, the guy gives them his balls. The three friends lie on the grass high and Costa says he loves them. I love you guys. They get up and have such a high look on their faces. Everyone high, kissing, dancing and cheering on JB when he's with someone. Alexis goes to Tomas' room with him to get intimate, but Kirby finds them. Tomas goes to look for Kirby, but she's very angry with him. The party is completely out of control now. Tomas goes to his dad's office. He hears a voicemail from his dad, saying the neighbors are calling them. Thomas goes to the roof of the house. Costa and JB join him, realizing everything has completely spiraled out of control. The news arrives by helicopter. Everyone is shouting Thomas's name. Are you hearing this? And Thomas jumps off the roof. Costa doesn't want to jump, but JB does. The cops arrive to shut everything down, but they start throwing bottles, it's total anarchy, and JB twists his finger when he falls. <clears throat> the news reports on what's happening, saying it looks like pure anarchy. <laughs> After that, they put Tomas' dad's car in the pool. That's when the gnome guy shows up looking for Costa with a flamethrower to get his gnome back. Me back my fucking gnome! Everyone runs away, Tyrick sets everything on fire. The cops shoot rubber bullets. Thomas tries to calm down Tyrick. The cops shoot and Tyrick catches fire, and he explodes. <laughs> Tomas goes into his house to find his dog. The cops use flashbang grenades to get everyone to leave. They spray water to put out the fires everywhere. The neighbor insults Costa, and the miniguards go to attack him. Disaster everywhere. Morning comes and the three friends are at school, and Costa sends the miniguards home. Costa and JB also go home, and Dax too, and Thomas is left thinking, I really messed up but it was epic. His house is a mess, all burned and destroyed. His dad punishes him, and he's surprised because he didn't think he was capable of doing all that. Thomas goes to school in the burned minivan, he's facing six different charges, he's on probation, and his friends could go to jail. But at school now everyone knows him, and they greet him for the epic party he threw. Thomas looks at Kirby, still angry with him, so he goes to find her, to apologize. She forgives him and kisses him. After that we see the gnome guy survive. Costa was acquitted of all charges, but is awaiting three different paternity tests. JB's parents convince the court that he has special needs and can't be charged. And Dax is under investigation for the disappearance of his parents. Costa is interviewed, and he says it was the most epic party in history and invites the reporter to the next party. I got a better idea. How about I invite you to my next party? And that's how the movie ends.